नो अ बी हाइव गेट अवे बिफोर द बीज कम Thank goodness, Kitty made it in time. Otherwise, it could have been a big disaster. Why? Let me answer that by addressing a stingy question. What if a honeybee stings you? Zoom in. Honeybees with their fuzzy bodies and diverse colors are renowned for collecting nectar and pollen from flowers and transforming these resources. into the iconic golden honey that they store in their hives to protect this precious home worker bees are constantly on guard ready to fight any potential threat generally honey bees mind their own business living peacefully to make this world a sweeter place However, if some naughty intruder tries to poke into their personal space to harm them, these bees won't hesitate to show their aggressive side by using their venomous stinger, which is a specialized organ evolved primarily for defense. And how do they sting you? First, the bee inserts its stinger into the target's skin. by trusting it with a swift stabbing motion on the surface these stingers may look like simple dart needles but if you take a closer look you'll see that it's a complex mechanism consisting of three main components the stylet which serves as a stabilizing rod and two digging blades called lancets equipped with backward facing barbs unfortunately as the bee attempts to retreat the barbed structure of the lancets prevents the stinger from being withdrawn smoothly due to this the stinger detaches from the bee's body resulting in the rupture of its internal organs often leading to the bee's demise following a single sting But even after the stinger is detached, zombie-like muscles keep digging and injecting the venom coming from a bulb located at the base of the lancets. Following this event, the person may feel tremendous pain as the sting site typically becomes red and swollen, accompanied by itching. In such cases, the first thing we must do is examine the affected area. If the stinger remains embedded in the skin, it should be carefully removed to prevent additional venom injection. Next, wash the affected area with soap and water to help cleanse the wound and reduce the risk of infection. After cleansing, applying a cold compress or ice pack to the sting site can help relieve pain and swelling. If the pain persists, consult a doctor for over-the-counter pain relievers that may provide further relief from itching and discomfort. Monitor the sting site for any signs of allergic reaction and keep an eye on any serious symptoms such as nausea, dizziness, a tight feeling in the throat, or difficulty in breathing. In such cases, immediate medical attention is needed to minimize discomfort and reduce the risk of life-threatening complications. But as the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. So if you know that bees or other bugs can make you sick, it's important to be extra careful to avoid them. Try to stay away from areas with lots of flowers where bees like to hang out. And if a bee is near you, don't panic and don't try to hit it. In most cases, it will go away. Trivia time. Did you know that female bees are the only ones that can sting? Also, the average worker bee lives for just Five to six weeks. During this time, she'll produce around a twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. To learn more, check out our video on the same. It's catching time. 
Today's catch of the day goes to Prajakta. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.